So in this example, a lot of students will see 16. They say, oh, I can take the square root of that. So they say, you know, the center, they say the center is going to be 1 comma negative 2. And then they say the radius is equal to 4. Because you can take the square root of 16 and you're good to go. Right? But you have to be careful in this case because if you look at the standard form of a circle, we don't have anything for the, any number in front of your x squared and your y squared. That means we need to get rid of these 8s in front of here. So to do that, we are just going to divide by an 8 on both sides. When doing that, we get x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 2. Now, so therefore, r squared is equal to 2. So therefore, r is just going to equal to the square root of 2. Right? Now again, you could say plus or minus. But again, guys, it's a radius. Doesn't matter if it's plus or minus. It's like the radius represents a distance, right? Not a direction. So it's, you can just use the positive value there. Now to sketch the graph, this one kind of gets a little difficult. So square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 4 is 2. So the square root of 2, I don't know what it is, but wouldn't you guys agree it's somewhere in between 1 and 2? Yeah. So when I'm asking you to sketch your graph, I don't need you to be perfect. I'm not going to walk around with a magnifying glass and make sure you're exact. If I ask you to sketch, I just need it to be between 1 and 2. As long as you're not giving it to me as 3 or like some other crazy numbers, like we're going to be fine. So we plot the center, which is 1, negative 2. All right, and then basically you're just going to go over, you know, from there, a quarter or so. Something roughly like that. Roughly. Okay? Just give me roughly. That's all I'm looking for. All right. 